Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the reactivity of the noble gases. So you should know then that the noble gases are in group zero. You might see on some periodic tables it's group eight. Group zero is what is more commonly accepted, however. Now when you look at the electronic configuration of the noble gases, you'll see something really unique about them. So if we start off with helium, it's got two electrons in its outer shell, in its first shell. Remember the first shell can only hold two, so it's got a full outer shell. If you do the same for neon, which has got 10 electrons, two go in the first shell, eight in the second. Again, you can see it's got a full outer shell. And as you can see with argon, which has 18 electrons, two in the first shell, eight in the second, eight in the third. All of the noble gases have full outer shells. Now what this means is they don't want to lose or gain electrons. If they don't lose or gain electrons, it makes them unreactive. They're stable. Another word for unreactive, which is really important that you need to learn, is inert. And that really is all there is to it, to the reactivity of the noble gases. So if we have a look at an example question, which says, describe why the noble gases will not react when added to sodium or chlorine. You don't need to know anything about sodium or chlorine. You just need to be able to, when it, when it says, describe why, the noble, describe why the noble gases will not react, full outer shell, and if it's got full outer shell, what does that mean in terms of electrons? What does that mean in terms of reactivity? And what's that special keyword that I talked about? Have a go at it. Won't take you long, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's see how you've done. So the first thing to talk about is the outer shell. They're all full. That's really important to get in there. Any noble gas question, full outer shell. They've got a full outer shell. They do not want to gain or lose electrons. And if they don't want to gain or lose electrons, they are unreactive, they're inert, they will not react. Any of those would have got you the third marking point. Now I have got a review question for you, and it might look quite different. It says, explain in terms of reactivity why the noble gases were not on Mendeleev's periodic table. It's exactly the same type of question. So what you're talking about here is they've got a full outer shell. And if they've got a full outer shell, it means they don't react. If they don't react, it wasn't easy to discover. So try putting that down into an answer, have a go, and that ends this video. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can have a look at my latest video up there. You can also have a look at my website if you haven't seen it before, and you can click on subscribe down below. Bye now.